Okay guys, we're gonna start first with our corset and this is basically the shape that I drafted it ending up with seven pieces, five being for our bodice and you can pause at any time, other two being for our cup. So this is how I kind of just manipulated our skirt block. I added some flare and basically wanted it to drape easier and nicer because this is more of a heavier fabric than the one they used. And basically I kind of also did the curve for our slit. So with the pieces laid down, for my cups on the outside, I covered it with webbing, which is basically my form of double-sided fusing and fused it onto the cup. And that's it. You basically just use heat to attach your fabric. And then for our lining, we're gonna use our cup pieces. So the first thing that I ended up doing was pinning all of my panels together. Most people will pin and then sew, pin and sew. I kind of just pin all the panels together and then sew everything at once so it doesn't take up too much time. I did the same for my lining. So I used a 2.5 length stitch and I went along my seam allowance which is 1.5 and basically just make sure everything is neat, nothing gets caught on and basically just iron flat all of your seams. I ironed my seams in the direction of center back from the center front so I can top stitch my seams flat and create cages for the boning to slide through. Before putting in the boning, I always put my cups in so I know where to stop. This is me just cutting off all the extra fabric for me gluing the fabric on. And we are basically just going to pin it into place into the shape of our cup. I just always feel using cups is the best because if you don't want to go buy cups at a local store, you can always cut up a bra that you know will fit you really well and the shape that you want because they come in all different types of shapes and you'll have that shape on your top as well. So now go along the edge, so just above the wire and stitch all around the U shape of the cup. So everything should look just as neat as this. I'm just pinning my seam allowance down so I can see if everything went well. And then this is me just putting in all of my boning. If you feel like your boning isn't thick enough, you can always use round boning or spiral boning, which is metal. I am just using a flat plastic boning here and then doubling it where I want to. So now for our cap, I am basically just going to stitch following the shape of the cup and I should end up with this kind of rounded cup and adding it to our lining which was done just like our front bodice. So I usually cut the shape of the cups 
to the same as our like lining front bodice only at the end when I am kind of putting them together and just about to join them because you never know the shape of your cup and you don't want to just look by the eye and cut it so rather have too much fabric than no fabric at all So now for our straps, they have straps. I kind of just did four centimeters, folded it in half, and then stitched a foot width away from the edge. Once that was done, I cut off the axis so I can turn it over with a loop turner. Um, yeah, I call it a loop turner. It's basically something that helps you turn straps around. You can find this at a local fabric store and basically it's really cheap and helps you turn everything over and you have beautiful straps at the end. I tie a little knot at the end and I'm basically gonna have four straps that I can tie into a bow at each shoulder. So now I'm attaching my straps by putting them in between the two layers because we are going to attach our lining to our front so make sure that your straps are in between the two and then you are going to stitch along the whole top of the corset follow the shape right at the edge of your cups so you know that's the actual shape that you will get Take your time with this as you might find there's a lot of layers. Make sure your boning didn't go through your seam allowance. You want to turn everything around now and you basically have your corset done. So you basically just have to iron everything down and pin in your zip and then attach your zip. So this is me stitching my zip on. Take out all your pins and make sure that your zip slides through easily. Cut off all the excess threads. And your bodice should be done and you should be able to tie it the way you want. And now moving on to our skirt, I am stitching basically the center back and leaving only the gap for our little zip that we're going to have. I fused there because I needed to have more structure so people can play around with the zip without it falling apart. So I'm pinning one side first of my skirt to the zip and then stitching it down like a straight little line and then I'm going to create a box to stitch the other side and have a lat zip. So there are a few different types of zips. I'm doing a lap zip here but you guys can use any zip you want. Make sure that you do overlock all of your edges when you are done. So now we are going to do gathering stitches on the sides. This is going to give us an effect of basically the draping. So make sure you do a foot width away on the longest stitch length and do not back tack or do not make any knots while you're stitching. So you are able to pull it. So you leave your bobbin threads at the back and pull the two front threads that you've made and just gather it in. And you'll slowly see the effect of the draping happen. The more draping you want, make sure that you make your skirt longer because it will get shorter. You can add length by the hip and you can also add length by the hem. So this is me pinning everything right side to right side now and I am going to just stitch them close with a normal 2.5 stitch on my seam allowance. Please do not forget to overlock. If you don't have a overlocker, you can use a serpentine stitch, which is basically a zigzag stitch that has small stitches made up of it. 
so that's how it looks and now we are going to do our hem and we are going to fold fold twice and stitch so stitch down the edge I usually do it one centimeter from the edge We're going to put our facing and how we do that is basically you're going to attach it as if you're attaching a waistband you will turn it over iron it flat and you will top stitch it so your facing stays in place this is me just top stitching all the way around once everything is secure you should be done make sure you have no threads hanging out and make sure that your top stitching looks neat. And this is the final look. This is a satin and it does have a print. It's slightly heavier than the actual picture in terms of fabric weight, but I think it turned out great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, this little DIY. Comment down below, kind of saying what you want us to do for this little series next, and we will make it. It can be anything. It doesn't only have to fall into fast fashion or casual wear. It can be costumes or anything you guys want basically and I hope we can grow as a channel together. Please do subscribe and also hit the notification button so you know when I do post my next video and hope to see you guys next week. Love you! Bye!